So here we have the Mazda MX-5 on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot area and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, given the size of the car, it's a very deep boot uh, and the roof going down doesn't affect this space either. So speaking of the roof controls, there's a catch just here. Give that a pull and then the roof will pull up manually and then you can hop inside the car to do the rest, which I'll show you now. So once you're inside the car, just pull that catch underneath there, pop that up and it's as easy as that. And then the reverse of that is just to bring that back and open the roof. Very, very easy system to use. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. In the center, we have the rev counter. To the right of it, we have the speedometer and to the left of it, uh, the coolant temperature gauge, the fuel gauge, and the total miles of the car, which are 8,834. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. And on the right-hand side, we have cruise control. In the center, we have the touchscreen for the car. So uh, you can use it as a touchscreen, or if you wish to, uh, there is a dial just here that can be used, which is probably slightly easier to use whilst you're driving along. Uh, so you can press that home button to take you back to the main menu and then the dial will do all the other things that I will show you on here. So we are now back on that home screen. So for example, if you want satellite navigation, you can use the dial to enter into that. Uh, as I say, far easier while the car's in motion, that's for sure. Uh, there's a video showing how Mazda's satellite navigation system works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. But also from here, you can pair your phone, you can access your music under the entertainment heading just here. So you've got various different menus on the bottoms from radio station lists, uh, favorites, you can skip stations and tracks from here as well. Uh, and you'll see all the different ways in which you can listen to music in the first place. So you've got your radio, then you've got Bluetooth audio and USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to music. Below that, we've got the climate control for the car. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, and where you'd like the air to be distributed. Air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, back on again. Or you can hit auto, if you do that, the car will take control of the fan speed to help maintain that temperature. Similarly, you can determine that you'd like it on auto in terms of the direction as well. Those two will work together to maintain this temperature for you. Beneath that, we have a heated driver seat and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. We have two USB inputs and an auxiliary input, a six-speed manual gearbox, a cup holder here, which is removable should you have a rear passenger in the car so that it doesn't obscure obviously their uh, leg room and then the dial and buttons that I went through just a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.